And right now, the best thing for me to do is to go home to focus on my family and my health. Double WWE retirements that we may witness in 2024. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell for the latest updates. Number 10, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins experienced a remarkable year in WWE in 2023, but concerns about his back health surfaced when he disclosed the legitimate issues he's been facing. Initially perceived as possibly part of a storyline, it was later confirmed that Rollins indeed has genuine back problems that require attention sooner rather than later. Despite asserting in 2023 that he had no intentions of slowing down, the persistent pain may force Rollins to reconsider. Prioritizing his well-being is crucial, especially considering a life beyond professional wrestling. If the pain persists, the option for Rollins to adopt a part-time schedule or even consider retirement becomes a realistic possibility. Number 9. Randy Orton Randy Orton faced significant uncertainty throughout 2022 and into 2023, with fears that the legendary wrestler might never return to the ring due to a severe back injury, one that often marks the end of a wrestling career. Remarkably, Orton displayed determination in his recovery and has since made a successful return to regular wrestling. While this is undoubtedly positive news, lingering concerns persist about the potential for re-injury, given the gravity of back issues. Orton, expressing confidence in his ability to wrestle for another decade, has been a full-time main roster wrestler since 2002, accumulating decades of wear and tear. Optimistically, fans hope Orton can prolong his wrestling career for as long as possible. However, it's essential to acknowledge the toll his extensive tenure may take on his body, and the ambitious plans to continue for another decade may encounter unforeseen challenges. Number 8. Tamina Snuka While Tamina may not have ascended to the pinnacle of the women's division, her enduring presence in the world of professional wrestling stems from her reputation as both a wrestler and a remarkable human being. Tamina is renowned for her supportive presence in the locker room, and it's no surprise that fellow wrestlers consistently express positive sentiments about her contributions to WWE. In 2023, Tamina has notably scaled back her in-ring appearances, participating in only three matches throughout the year. The reasons for this shift remain undisclosed. If Tamina has chosen to take a step back from in-ring competition, it is hoped that WWE recognizes and utilizes her wealth of experience by providing her with a significant role backstage. Whether in a producer or agent capacity, Tamina could contribute decades of valuable insight to the company. Number 7. CM Punk The unexpected return of CM Punk in 2023 was a moment fans never thought they would witness. Punk is back in WWE, poised to play a significant role in the company's programming going forward. While the prospect of Punk's return is exhilarating, there are apprehensions regarding his history of injuries potentially resurfacing. After sustaining an injury at the 2024 Royal Rumble, some fans are already speculating that Punk's second WWE run might be his final chapter in the wrestling world. Although this speculation might be viewed as premature, it stems from Punk's well-documented history of injuries during the latter part of his career. The concerns highlight the delicate balance between Punk's comeback excitement and the realities of his injury-prone past. Number 6. Rey Mysterio on December 18, 2023, it was announced that Rey Mysterio had re-signed with WWE, bringing forth joy for fans as Mysterio continues to showcase his exceptional skills despite having started wrestling at the tender age of 14. In recent years, Mysterio has openly discussed his retirement plans, consistently expressing his intention to retire at the age of 50. Now, at 49, it suggests that the three-year deal he inked in 2023 could potentially be his final stint in professional wrestling. During an interview with Kevin Hart on Cold is Bald, the WWE Hall of Famer shared his desire to spend more quality time with his wife post-retirement. Mysterio emphasized, I think more than anything, to give some time back to my wife who has put her career on the line and her time to raise two kids to support me to let me pursue my dream, the rest of my lifetime I just want to be able to enjoy the show with her. Number 5. AJ Styles AJ Styles stands as one of the all-time greats in professional wrestling. Whether competing in TNA, New Japan Pro Wrestling or WWE, AJ consistently delivered classic matches, contributing to some of the most celebrated moments in the last two decades of pro wrestling. Expressing his intention to retire within WWE, the former WWE champion shared in an interview with Metro. Once it's over, I think it's going to be easy for me to go, okay, 
I did what I was supposed to do. I fought as hard as I could for as long as I could to the point where I hopefully didn't embarrass myself. No more missing birthdays, high school, elementary school stuff. I'm going to be there as a father to see that. I've missed enough. In 2022, reports surfaced confirming that the Phenomenal One had renewed his contract with WWE. However, details regarding the duration of AJ's new contract were not disclosed. As AJ approaches the conclusion of this deal, he faces a challenging decision. Judging by his retirement-related comments, it appears he may be entering the swan song phase of his remarkable career. Number 4. John Cena Throughout John Cena's extended WWE tenure in 2023, a prominent theme emerged, suggesting that Cena's retirement is approaching. Regrettably, this wasn't merely a storyline, as Cena openly discussed in several interviews that his time as a wrestler is drawing to a close. In an appearance on WWE's digital show, The Bump, Cena shared his thoughts on the matter. Selfishly, I said I wanted to make sure it's not time to go yet, and I confidently believe that I'm not done. But I do believe that we're all fighting that ticking clock, and mine has less seconds than most other people in the locker room. A lot of times we go away, and we don't get a chance to say a proper like, hey, thanks for allowing me to do this for so long. I don't exist without the audience and I'm just really grateful for every single second. It's why I can't talk trash about anybody. Fortunately for Cena, he has a highly successful Hollywood career to rely on. Nevertheless, there's no denying that it will be a somber day when WWE's franchise figure chooses to bid farewell. Number 3. Becky Lynch When Becky Lynch eventually decides to step away, she will undoubtedly be a certified Hall of Fame headliner, leaving an indelible mark as one of the most influential talents of the modern era. In 2024, Lynch is slated to release her autobiography, a move that some fans interpret as a sign of her approaching the final chapter of her career. Reports suggest Lynch has been cast in an undisclosed Marvel role, fueling speculation about her interest in pursuing acting full-time. Additionally, Lynch, being a mother, will likely prioritize spending more time with her daughter, potentially influencing her retirement decision. Regardless of Lynch's choice, the door will always be open for a potential return. In the years to come, she could even establish a legacy similar to Trish Stratus's impactful stint with WWE in 2023, perhaps taking on a leadership role within the company. Number 2. Brock Lesnar Brock Lesnar adopted a part-time schedule upon his return to WWE in 2012, ensuring that his appearances remain special. Over the past decade, Lesnar has consistently been a dependable draw for the company. The wrestling world was genuinely surprised when Lesnar revealed on The Michael K Show in 2021 that he had initially retired in 2020. When I was younger I thought I want to retire when I'm 40. I actually retired when COVID hit and my contract was up in 2020. Full Circle Brock Lesnar story and my first wrestling match in a so was in a garage with no people. 20 years later, had a WWE title match at WrestleMania in a warehouse in front of no people. 20 years. Full Circle. I was like, I'm out. Certainly something prompted Lesnar to come out of retirement, and his stint as Cowboy Brock has garnered immense popularity among fans, often considered one of the most thrilling runs of his career. However, when Lesnar became entangled in the Vince McMahon lawsuit that emerged in early 2024, WWE was compelled to alter creative plans and exclude Lesnar's name from any ongoing storylines. With WWE seemingly committed to adhering to this directive, the possibility looms that Lesnar's active days as an in-ring talent may be drawing to a close. Number 1. Roman Reigns Since May of 2022, Roman Reigns has adopted a limited schedule in WWE, a move that has drawn considerable criticism from fans. Reigns, who has held the world championship for over three years, faced backlash as having a part-time world champion doesn't sit well with the weekly WWE viewers. After several months of Reigns transitioning to a part-time status, he disclosed during an interview on The Michael K Show that he harbors aspirations to venture into Hollywood. We'll have to see, I think there are going to be some moves made pretty soon. There is always speculation with contract talks, the portion of it is my business. People who dive deep enough, I'm sure they can uncover and turn enough stones to figure out the time frame. That's something I want to be able to dabble in and gain more experience. I want to use these tools that I've learned. WWE has done so right by me and have given me so much and placed so many great blessings and opportunities in front of me. I've just had to capture them and grab that ball and run with it. I'd like to think that along the way, I've picked up so many skills and experienced so many things that are going to help me. He continued by saying, at the end of the day, 
We all know how this works this is a young man's game. You can't fool down your whole life. You have to get to a point where you can transition and continue to connect and create new and fresh evolved content for your fan base and supporters. I think I have the ability to do that. At the end of the day, it's about getting into the game, being thrown into the fire, and seeing how you do. I have a pretty good track record with being thrown into the deep end. If that's what happens in Hollywood, I'm gonna swim. Many fans, especially on social media, interpreted this as Reigns, subtly suggesting that his time in WWE is gradually winding down. Despite his earlier statement about the possibility of wrestling until he's 45, it seems that Reigns' appearances in WWE are becoming less frequent each year. It's clear that Reigns is increasingly focused on pursuing opportunities in the dazzling world of Hollywood. Well, there you have it folks. Those are 10 WWE wrestler retirements that could potentially happen in 2024. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time with more wrestling content.